Hey guys and welcome back, this is me Mr Poz HD and following up from last episode we've managed to get a one step close to making this awesome looking power plant we've got our redstone energy cells now and the redstone energy conduits so it's all looking good so far all we need now I think is some waterproof pipes and some ladders and we should be done so I'm going to go back and get some water pipe waterproof now you can get this several ways you can either smelt cactuses to get cactus green and then turn that into pipe waterproof you can also do it another way and this is a very, well, I think, handy way. You can, in fact, um, let's see, if you make cactus green. To make cactus green, you can put a minium stone and a rose red in a crafting table. And that is just very handy. Or you can use beeswax. Now, I think I've got some beeswax. I'll check. Yeah, I've got a bit of beeswax. But I'm not going to use that just yet. I'm, I think I'm going to use my minium stone and some rose red. Because I seem to have quite a bit of flowers. There we go, some rose red. So we'll get some of that, we'll turn that all to rose red, and then we're going to stick that together with the minium stone, and that makes us cactus green. And then we can turn this back into pipe waterproof. Easy. So now we're going to want to get a wooden waterproof pipe. Sorry if my voice is a bit croaky. I've literally just got up. <laughs> um, so we're going to want that and that, and we're going to, oh actually we're going to want two more wooden, wood, wooden waterproofs. Um, and we might actually need four engines as well, so we'll take them as well. And all we need to do is put these together like that, and it's waterproof now. And then we put them together as well, and we should be ready. So let's go over to the... Oh, actually, we're going to need some ladders, aren't we? Silly me. Right, let's see. We've got some sticks. That's okay, then. We're also going to take half of this lime wood and turn it, the rest of it into sticks. There we go, lovely. So we've got lots of sticks now, and we can turn all this into ladders. We probably wouldn't need this many ladders, but, you know, what's, what's the harm? So there you go, so we've got 24 now. Actually, that might not even be enough, but that will do for now. Um, so let's go back over here. Du -du 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 -du. Right, back over to the power plant. Now, we're going to put the ladders down the sides like this. Like so. There we go, so now we can get up very easily, and it's all good. Okay, so now we're going to want to make a base for this iron tank. Now I'm thinking I might just use these lime wood planks, but then actually I thought, ah, cherry. So let's use some cherry, and, well, oopsie daisy. We're going to need to leave a gap in the middle for the, uh, the valve, or, yeah, it's the valve to go through, so that there's a space for the wa waterproof um, pipes to come through to these biogas engines. So let's do the same over this side, make a nice little ring, like a donut ring. There we go. And then we're going to want to get our tanks, our tank walls. Now we're going to want to do the same shape with the tank walls, like that. And then we're going to want to go up three, two, three. And there we go, one, two, three, and then do that, two, three, do that. So this should look okay, and it should be big enough. I'm hoping it is. There we go. And then we're going to want to leave a gap in the top for the valve. So let's get the valve and put it in the top. So that's what we're going to pipe stuff in. And then we're going to pipe stuff out of the bottom. And then we're going to need some uh, gauges or gorges. I still don't know how to say it. So yeah, someone needs to tell me that. And then there we go. And there is our tank. So now we can click on it. And we've got 576 capacity in this tank, so that should be more than enough. So now we can have the waterproof pipes coming out of the squeezers and into the top of this, and it'll be coming out of the bottom, through here, down here into the biogas engines. Good, good. Right, let's, let's make another one. We need to do exactly the same design for this side, and this is going to be the seed oil side. And I'll probably need to name them as well, that'd be good. Uh, let's get this, stick that there. Oh, we don't want that there. Diamond pickaxe, where are you? I could probably just use my uh, other pickaxe, but oh well. Right, there we go. And then we're going to want to raise them another two. There we go. And then join up all the sides and put a valve in the middle. And then we're just going to want to fill the rest in with these. These these act as like windows, so you, know, so you can see the uh, seed oil. And there we go. So we've got our tanks looking good now we've got them on these sort of strut things so we'll be able to see how much liquids we've got from anywhere on the farm that's good right so now we're going to want to get our waterproof pipes and these we're going to use here and we're just going to stick them like that and we're going to need to put the um, redstone 
uh, where are they? The redstone engines under the bottom. But first, I'm going to maybe yeah, I think I'm going to do this just so that there's an extra like side for the redstone engines to rest on. There we go, and then stick the redstone engines like this. Yeah, that looks better actually. We've got our random grid of golden conductive pipes. Very nice. Um, right, we don't have any cobblestone or levers, so we'll have to go and get some of them in a second. But first, I think I'll just finish off these these pipes. So, let's see. If we do this, and then... Ooh, this is going to be tricky. We'll do that, and then hopefully... Ooh, they seem to have gone into them. And then we'll go up one more, I think. And then along. Easy. Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. There we go, and then we can probably break all these because we won't need them to be like that. Okay, so now this should work. This should just pump out uh, when I turn on... Oh, actually, no, these redstone engines are the wrong place. Oopsie. I'm doing a lot of oopsies today, unfortunately. I'm probably just really tired, but <laughs> oh well. Um, let's see. So we, we want our redstone engine, not our sterling engine. We'll stick that there. Okay, so that should work now. So let's do the same on this side. So we're going to go up one, up one, like that. We're going to want to go up. Oops. I'm not the best at doing this, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, and then we'll want to go back down one because we don't want too high. And then we just go along. There we go. Oh no, I've run out of pipes. Hmm. Okay, how many, how many more pipes will I need? I think one more. Oh dear. Right, let's go back to get some um, rose red and actually we can get some levers while we're here as well that'd be quite handy um, right so let's get some what was it rose red rose red there it is we only need we only need two of it I think and then we'll turn that into oh no want to make it into rose red first like that make that into cactus green this is a really good tip actually of doing it and it says your minimum stones got health but I didn't think it did. I don't know, maybe maybe it doesn't, uh, I'm just seeing, like, maybe it just, I don't know, has an issue at the moment. Oh, sorry about that, I just had to sneeze twice. Oh my god, that wasn't too good, but oh well. Um, right, so let's shut our doors and let's go over to the iron, iron tanks. And look at this, this is looking great already, so that's good. Um, now, oh, I've just thought about it, we're going to need some more waterproof pipes coming out of there into here. Oh dear. Oh well, we'll just have to make some more. That, that's, that'll be fine. It, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, right, so let's connect that up. And now we're going to need to somehow get up here and connect the last one. So let's just do a little nerd pole. And stick on that like that. And there we go. So now we should be able to get in um, any sort of uh, liquid that we want into these tanks. Now I want to sort of test this out. So let's go and get some honey drops. Du, 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 du. Now we could also get some seeds as well actually, that would be a good idea. Um, do you have any seeds? Oh yeah, we have lots of seeds, we have all of these, okay so that should do. Um, what else? We need some coal. Just get one, two, three. Oh, I've got a full inventory, maybe I should clear up my inventory, yeah. That would be a good idea. There we go. Inventory nice and clear now. Um, we could probably stick the wrench back. Uh, I think that will do for now. And then how many stacks of coal do we have? We have two, so let's take another couple and we should be ready to go. This place is looking awesome now. We, we should be able to have sustainable power soon and we should be able to fill up these lovely redstone energy cells. What was that? Oh dear, it's a zombie with a, with a shovel and I hear a spider. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is why you got Bane of Pods 5 or 4, whatever it is. <laughs> um, right, so now we want to stick in all the coal into here. And next episode, I think, because we've got this near enough ready, uh, before we actually try and get some, like, seeds and, like, a sustainable amount of seeds and uh, honey, I think we're going to make the wither spawner, just so that um, we have unlimited coal for these lovely looking engines. So let's stick in some honey. Oh, thank you. Um, let's stick in some seeds then. We've got some seeds here. So we'll stick some of those seeds in there, some of the flax seeds in there. And then let's get the power on. There we go. So they're all pumping away now. You can see the power's going through the grid thing. And they're both going into the squeezers, yeah? I think they are. Or not. It's all going into this one squeezer. Oh. Oh, well. 
it, I guess it would do this one before it would do this one. And then all we need to do is turn on these engines, like so. There we go. Oops, that was wrong. And it should be pumping out. There it is. Look at that. We've already got some seed oil. How good is that? Okay, now I might need to extend this side one, one out of it. Oh, uh, well, it'll be fine like that. Okay, so look at that. We've already got some seed oil. Now I might need to put an iron waterproof. Can you get iron waterproof? I think you can. Uh, where is it? Yeah, you can. Okay, so maybe I should get a pipe, an iron waterproof to replace these two things. And there's one there. Why is that there? Oh, I didn't even need to make that extra one. Oh, well. Right, so I think what I'm going to do now is go and get an iron waterproof to replace these two. Uh, let this tick over and we should be able to get some some good old seed oil. Look at that, we can already see it going into the tank, that's awesome. Um, and I'll also get some more pipe waterproof so we can um, uh, take out of the bottom and put it into our biogas engines. So, I'll be back once I've got some more pipe waterproof, hopefully I should get some more. Okay, so I've managed to clear out my inventory a bit more. I've got much more space. There's a zombie coming for me now. Who do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Hey, let's get a bow on you. There we go. Oh my god. That was a bit of a weird lag spike. Oh, creeper. Okay, we're just going to have to be careful then. There's a lot of mobs. It's, day it's daytime as well. What's happening? This guy's got a sword. An iron sword? What's this guy up to? I want that iron sword. There we go. So let's go back over to here. See how much um, seed oil we've got. Let's have a look. Right, so we've got, oh, we've got, oh my god, already a thousand seed oil. That's really good. And actually, I forgot to get the iron waterproof. I've got everything else. Uh, oh, well, we'll just have to um, get the iron waterproof another time. How many mobs are there here? Jesus. Right, so let's stick this lever here as well and get that going just so that, you know, it's ready for whenever we need to pump out some honey. Um, and now, is it still going? Yeah, it's still going. Um, this still hasn't got anything yet, which is interesting. No recipe. So you can't do flax seeds. Looks like you can't do flax seeds, unfortunately. Um, oh, well, I'll have to turn this uh, power off now because we don't want to waste the coal. Um, and we're going to want to make... I've got a lot of pipe waterproof now. I uh, managed to farm some nice... Uh, what's it called? The ro rose red plants. So, yeah, that's all good. And now I think we're going to need two more redstone engines. And we can do this. Now, yeah, I've got a bit of a blocked nose, so I'm sorry if my um, commentary is not great, um, but yeah. Um, right, so we're going to want to stick that like that, and then we're going to want a register engine here, and then we can put a lever here, and I'll just make that like that so that it's a bit more of a pattern. So we're going to have to do that for both sides, and we're going to need a register engine on either side. Okay, now let's get the rest of this um, cobblestone pipes that we've got. Um, let's get, I don't know, let's get about 20. 20 more, there we go, we've got 28 now. That should do fine, and now we can drag these into the biogas engines. Like so. There we go. So we've got more than enough um, uh, pipe waterproof to um, connect it up with the biogas engines. So let's drag this down as well. Get that coming along. There we go. So now this should be all ready. Now we should be able to um, uh, pump out the seed oil already into the biogas engines. And then we're going to need some levers here. So I'm going to use some of this wood. Actually, I still want a different coloured wood. Um, oh, well, that'll that'd be fine for the moment. So we'll just do that. Um, we're going to have to do this for both sides. Oh, I'm stuck. So now I have to go and get some more of this cherry wood. And we can put levers both sides. And oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Whoa, look at that zombie. He was doing some parkour skills there, jumping over. I'll have you, I'll have you. Why have they all got weapons today? They seem to be very, I don't know, feisty. We've all got weapons. I'm just going to chuck that somewhere. <laughs> um, oh my god, I'm just getting rubbish in my inventory. I don't want it. Um, right, so we're going to want some cherry planks. There we go. We're also going to want a lot more levers. So let's get some sticks. Now, oh yes, we've got some more cobblestone. That's good. And let's make 14 levers. That'll do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that should be fine. And then this should be enough to get us on the go. Now, oh, actually, we're going to need a redstone engine, aren't we? Okay, that's what we needed. Um, right, we can do that like that. I don't know why, it's a bit of a pattern. Um, and then we're going to want to do the same on this side. Oop, come on, let me let me get up. No, okay, it doesn't want me to get up. Oh, creeper! Oh, 
I'm so lucky creeper explosions are off, Jesus Christ. Our whole place would be gone by now if, I, if, if it was on. Right, so there we go, now we've got that working. Now we're going to want to do that as well. And now we should be ready to produce some power. All we need now is the register engines and our power plant is finished. Now I might do a bit of decoration off camera, just like putting a nice canopy over this bit. I don't know, make it look nice basically. And I'm not too sure on the colours yet, but um, I think they'll be fine for the moment. Have a little nom on this. And okay, so I'll go and get some resident engines uh, and some iron pipes actually, so we can fix this. I'll be back with you in a second and then we'll do some more tree breeding because I can see we've got some crossbreds. So that'll be good and we'll go do that in a second. Okay, so now we just have to put the wood along the top. Oh, that's wrong. We've, we've already done it wrong. There we go, we put that like so, and there is our two redstone engines. Good, right. Now we need some iron pipes. Okay, where's the iron? There it is. And all we need to do is surround um, some glass. Where is it? There it is, with iron. Okay, this is actually easier than I thought. I thought the redstone engines would be really hard to make. I, I knew how to make them, I just thought, oh, I can't be asked to make them. But there we go, we made them, and now we need some pipe waterproof. Make two of these bad boys, and there we go. Now I'll stick this back in here, and we have two iron pipes. There we go. So we're near enough ready now. I think the power plant is ready to go. Some more aesthetics need to be treated, but other than that, I think it's all looking good. Now we're going to go and put these wa pipe waterproofs uh, back over here. Let's have a look. So let's stick this there. And oh, we're going to need a wrench. Oh, why did I drop my wrench? But I'll go get my wrench as well, and we should be ready to go. Um, okay, let's go get a wrench. No, can't go that way. We need some way of getting out of this without having to go through these because it's kind of awkward. Oh dear, my house is half chopped up. Why wasn't it loading up? Right, so let's go get to the wrench and we should be ready to go. Wrench, there you are. Thank you very much. Okay, you, you my friend, you my friend, the, the power plant, you are being put to use now. Awesome. Okay, so there we go. That's going right, there we go, all good, right. So now we can put the engine like that, we can get the levers, put that there, we can squeeze it out, and this should now go into, there we go, look at that, that goodness, oh yeah. Okay, so how much, oh, that's the wrong side. How much of this seed ore do we actually have? Because I've already drained it all, okay. Well, that's fine, we'll just turn that off then. And we'll have to get some more seeds, I guess. Um, I don't know how we're going to do that, but yeah, so that will work now, that's fine, all good, and it should have gone into these biogas engines. Now what we also need for this biogas engines is some lava um, to put in the right slot so that, you know, it can balance uh, balance out the the um, seed oil and, well, um, burn it down, I guess, into biogas. So I'm going to have to go get some lava, and, well, I think that's near enough ready. So I'll get some lava for next episode, but first... We're going to have a look at our trees, because, well, I'm seeing lots of crossbred leaves, and, well, that's a good sign. So let's go get our um, grafters, and let's let's go. Okay, so looking in the chest, I see I've only got one grafter, so we're going to have to make some more grafters, unfortunately. But we've got a lot of bronze, and we've got a lot of copper, so we can, uh, and tin, so we can always make some more if we need to. But now let's get the grafters. There we go. We've got a lot of grafters now. So let's go over to the tree breeding section and see what we can get. Pew! There we go. Um, right, let's 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 start. Let's have a look. So what's this? We've got a hill cherry again. It's not too good of a start. This one looks potential. It's right next to two leaves. Oh, what's that? That's a oh, it's a common walnut again. Okay. Uh, right, I'm trying to see through the leaves, through the fancy textures. Oh, what was that? A sweet chestnut. That's the exact tree I was looking for. So we've already got one of the trees I want. Um, so that that's that's it we, we all need to do now is find three more of these sweet chestnut saplings i'm hoping we can we've got enough grafters anyway so let's i'm actually gonna be here for a bit um grafting these leaves i'll see what i can get oh there's another one <laughs> okay so i'll keep going for a bit and hopefully i'll find these four all important sweet chestnuts oh there's another one i think yep yeah, there we go so we've got three now looking good so let's keep going and see what we what else we can, oh, what was that? I don't think that was the right one. No, that's a common walnut, okay. Well, I'll keep looking. Okay, so it's not going too good now. We've sort of decreased in the amount of uh, sweet chestnuts we were finding. And, well, I don't seem to be getting any now. 
So that's a bit unfortunate. I'm hoping, now that I've said that, I'll be able to find some, but I seem to be getting really unlucky. I just don't seem to be finding anything. Um, so I did actually see, there, there's the one. I see a common walnut um, sapling here, but no, it didn't give me anything again. So unfortunately, I don't think we've been too um, lucky today. We haven't been able to find the all-important last sweet chestnut sapling to make the sweet chestnut tree, unfortunately. And we sort of want the sweet chestnut tree for the sweet chestnuts that it produces. We can squeeze them into seed oil. Um, but yeah, well, I guess I'll keep looking around, see if I can find any more leaves, and hopefully I'll be able to find that last sapling. Okay, so we've, we've not really had any luck at this episode in getting this um, the full um, four saplings for the sweet chestnut tree, unfortunately. But we have been very successful in the power plant side because we have managed to get our first drops of seed oil, as you can see here. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. There we go, we've got some seed oil there. All we need is some lava, which we'll get next episode. And we should be making power very quickly. So next episode, as I said, I'll probably carry on with trying to find the sweet chestnut tree. And I'll also be making the wither spawner, which will be over there next to my storehouse, um, so that we can get unlimited uh, coal for the sterling engines over there. I'll also, in between episodes, just make this place look a bit nicer because at the moment it's just a green looking platform and it doesn't look great so I'll make it look nicer and yeah so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this episode as I said I'm be doing these episodes frequently over the, over the next I don't know month or so so we're gonna have episodes constantly coming out on my channel so don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with that and if you enjoyed this video don't forget that forget to hit that like button it really means a lot because um, well I just feel feel happy about about it so um yeah, don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you guys in my next videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.